So randomized controlled trials of biologic agents uh, commonly have patients who are very active. Their DAS scores are over 5.51. Uh, they have average of 30 tender joints, 20 swollen joints. When we look at real-world databases, those patients actually make up less than 10% of the patients we see in the real world. The average number of swollen joints is about four. The average number of tender joints is about six in the real-world rheumatology practice. So when we take the data from randomized controlled trials, we have to realize that applies to a minority of our, of our patients, and most of our pa patients do not have as bad disease when they present. So in that light, when we look at the time to response in uh, TNF inhibitors versus abatacept, when you look at first biologic patients early in their disease, abatacept is no different than TNF inhibitors in the time to response. In more resistant patients, patients who have failed multiple drugs where uh, new biologics are always tried in first, we can see and we do see a delay in treatment, but those patients are very different than the new ones that we're treating. And the whole biology of the disease is different, and having tried other biologic agents, their response might be blunted. So when we're comparing drugs, we have to really look at naive, methotrexate naive patient populations who are early in their disease, and those would be the fair patients to compare, because those are the same people who haven't really been through the mill of rheumatoid arthritis treatment, and they usually show the true response to a drug.